What's up, Matt Clark here at the new Matt Clark Coronavirus versus Addiction. How are the addicts going to get through this? The day of reckoning is here. Stay tuned for a great video, the new Matt Clark. Clark here at the new Matt Clark. How are each and every one of you doing on this amazing Saturday? I'm doing great. My girl's doing great. My family's doing great. And I hope each and every one of you are doing great in these tough times. I want to say thank you to each one of my 1,795 subscribers. You guys mean the world to me. You guys keep me motivated. You guys keep me accountable. So thank you. Thank you very much. If you could please hit that like button. If you could please hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button. So you get these videos when they're new. If you could share with somebody on social media, help spread the message, help spread the word, that would be amazing. And there's a PayPal option if you'd like to donate, help support the channel. The link is in the description. Coronavirus versus addiction. Now this is real, folks. I know that we want to make this out to be not as major as it is, okay? But if you look at what's going on in certain countries in the world, that maybe didn't get a handle on it in time, it seems to be exploding. And the reality is, at some point, it's probably gonna happen everywhere until enough people are immune that it shuts down a little bit. The thing about it is, I look at us, the human race, as a problem because of the way that we treat the planet. And I feel like this is the planet telling us to smarten up. This is our, our this is a warning. This has got a 2% mortality rate. This is a warning. We better get the message. We better learn from this and start respecting the way that things need to happen. We need to start investing more money from the government into this kind of stuff instead of military. We need to come together and that's what the reality is. But for addicts, what are addicts gonna do? I know as of right now, you can still move around in some places. You can still probably figure out how to get your dope together. But what's going to happen if it goes on a total lockdown? You go outside, you get arrested. And I think that's pretty close to happening in some places. If it already hasn't happened in the U.S., like San Francisco, like L.A., etc. Areas with huge populations of people, maybe lots of poverty, maybe too many people for the healthcare system to take care of and to handle because the proper things weren't put in place for these kind of disasters. And the reality is things bad are going to happen. I live near Toronto, which is also a very densely populated area. Hopefully, the containment thing that we've tried to accomplish here helps. I don't know if it will. I'm not an expert. But... I know that addicts are about to go through a really, really, really tough time. Addicts, you need to make that decision in your head now. If you're out chasing dope around and getting as stoned as you want, you know, living exactly the same way as you did before, you are out of your mind. You should be trying to stockpile so you can wean yourself off. There could be a day real soon where drugs just aren't there. Remember, borders are closed. The, the supply is going to dry up. The demand is going to get crazier and crazier because of stress and because of people's fear. And the reality is the supplies are going to dry up. Does that mean they're going to totally dry up? No. The prices are going to go through the roof and it's going to be mayhem. There could be violence. There could be a lot of crime unless all the addicts just decide that they're not going to allow that to happen. As a community, we need to understand that even me, as somebody who's on Suboxone, or as somebody who's on Methadone, it could get to a point where you can't even get that. And you need to be prepared for that. You know, at the end of the day, I think maybe it, we try to put on a brave face and we try not to allow these things to make us panic. And that's great, because we shouldn't be panicking. Like I said, panic is contagious. And I think more destructive than the actual disease. But for addicts, the reality is, if you can get on methadone, if you can get on Suboxone, if you're addicted to opioids, if you can 
uh, if you're on cocaine or, or meth or any of these things, you're better off to just try to stop now instead of driving yourself mental and everybody going crazy over the last little supply that's left, which possibly could happen. I'm not saying this is a reality. This is a possibility. I'm just, I'm just trying to help everybody understand what could happen here. You know what I mean? So it's not only that, you know, like it's other addictions as well. You know, sex addictions. How long is human contact really going to be possible with people that are outside of your group, right? Like right now, obviously, social distancing is mandatory. But, you know, I see in a lot of places people really aren't taking that seriously. The virus hasn't spread to that those levels where people can't really go near each other. But that point is going to come. We need to understand that this is not a phase. This is not something that you can duck. And this is something that you need to, you, we need to really band together and start helping each other. Now, I'm trying to figure out how, how I can do that without putting myself at risk or anybody around me at risk unnecessarily. And I really would like to figure that out. Now, I talked to my methadone doctor and they're gonna do phone call meetings and probably just ship out the scripts to each of our pharmacies and you'll be able to pick them up or have them delivered uh, for now. Obviously, uh, healthcare people are gonna be super busy. They're gonna have all hands on deck and may not be able to contact you or to work through problems. So you really have to stop and take a second to think about other people just, just then yourself. Because as addicts, a lot of the time we tend to make the selfish decision. We tend to only think of ourselves and really panic and freak out if we don't have control. Well, right now this is reality and we need to stop and really think about other people. We can't be hoarding and holding on to doctors for mindless nonsense or drug seeking. We have to just understand that our life as we were living is going to change temporarily. And now how much? I don't know. And you don't know, and the doctors don't know, nobody knows. But pretty sure it's going gonna, it's gonna to change fairly drastically. The economy is going to be hurt, and that means the drug game is going to be hurt. As long as the borders are shut down, how are drugs coming in, you know? I hope each and every one of you addicts out there has a contingency plan, has a backup plan or at least a relapse prevention plan or some kind of a wean yourself off plan. Uh, and if you can't do that, if you're just gonna use, 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 use till there's no supply, then you have to learn some coping skills because those kind of withdrawals are gonna be much more painful than a fast, uh, what's it called, wean. Whether you're on heroin or you're on pills or you're on methadone or suboxone, we don't know what's going to happen, right? Medical supplies only last so long if nobody's working, if nobody's manufacturing these medications. And these manufacturing plants could get to a point where they're prioritizing certain things over Suboxone or Methadone or Dilaudid or, you know, you never know, right? So I think the best thing for us to do is to make peace with ourselves and to make peace with the situation and to just try to help as many people as possible. Now, I'm starting to feel a little bit of a cold in my throat. I don't know if it's anything like that. We have our first official case in town. I've been trying not to go out, but obviously I have a job and I have to work as often as I can because I can't afford to be fired. I'm in the process of moving and I have this plan. Now, obviously, I don't want to be sick with the coronavirus, but I know that it's a reality that it could come my way, right? And I do, like I said, I have a little bit of a cough. It feels like an itch in my throat, like a dry cough a little bit. I'm hoping that it's just a regular cough, but we'll have to see. And I hope each and every one of you, whether you're an addict, whether you're in, you have family that's in prison, because that could be really bad if it gets into a prison, whether you have family that's ill, you're really taking the necessary steps and thinking about the next person, not just yourself. At the end of the day, they tell us to stay in, they tell us to self, 
uh, social distance. They tell us to self quarantine if we don't have to go anywhere. And I see a lot of unnecessary movement. These aren't empty threats or empty warnings. These are real warnings and people should really take heed to them. The reason why they're passing these warnings out is so we don't spread the disease faster than our healthcare system can handle. Addicts, the right thing for all of us to do is to just quit, stay inside, and not worry about our addiction. But the reality is we know that's not going to happen. We know that's not going to happen. So, uh, you know, I don't really know what to say. I don't know what kind of advice to give because I'm, I'm trying to think about what I'm going to do if that situation happens. But I want everybody to know that I'm here to support each and every one of you. I got your back. Like I said, you can hit me up on Instagram, the new Matt Clark, all small letters, all one word. I feel like if we band together strong and we put ourselves into a united front, then we can beat this. But if we move selfishly and we move on a me, not them kind of attitude, I think things are going to get much, much more catastrophic. This is our world. This is our future. And this is everything that we've been building for the last however many years. We really need to take control of this situation by being leaders. Stop looking for others for the answers. Start looking inside yourself for your answers. You have to do your part. I've been confined to my house. I'm not going nowhere. I don't care if I'm sick or if I'm not sick. I'm not going anywhere because I don't want that on my conscience that possibly I could have done more and I was the reason why this disease got into somebody and they lose their lives. Now, obviously, it's possible. We have no control over a microscopic bacteria or infection or whatever it is that we can't see and maybe it gets into you even though you do your best to not contract it. But what you can do is try. And that's my commitment to everybody that I'm going to try. And like I've said in past videos, this outrageous behavior of stockpiling on things that everybody needs, treating people terribly, fighting over this stuff, I'm not going to stand for it. And I know people that believe in the stuff that I believe in aren't going to stand for it. So people really need to step back and look in the mirror and understand what's important. I know it's important to me. I want society to continue to grow. I want to continue to grow and I don't want to see this destroy us. Addicts, I know it's tough. I really do. But you got to stay inside, man. You just got to stay inside. It look at it like a positive. It's forcing your hand in something that you've wanted to do for a long time time it's going to suck yes but it's not going to kill you but if you're an addict in active use and you're running around with this weakened immune system and you catch it who knows how your body's going to react to that stay inside knuckle up if you have money if you can afford to buy as much as you can buy as much as you can and stay inside and if you don't have money this is your time. This is your chance to do your part and make an impact. Anyways, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you get these videos when they're new. If you could share with somebody on social media, that would be amazing. Help spread the message, help spread the word. And if you would like to donate, help and support the channel, there is a PayPal option. The link will be in the description. I make all these videos for information purposes, and I hope each and every person that watches them learns something from them. Every time I make them, I learn something from them. So anyways, I really appreciate all the people that watch my videos. I hope each and every one of you and your family members are safe. I love each and every one of you. The new Matt Clark.